Hello. This video will show you the new features of version 15. Uh, the new features are divided to two main parts, minor development and major features. And we will go through one by one. In minor development, there are plenty of the small features that you can see the list here and we go through one by one. First is the no snap to DWG file. In the layers, you will find the drawing layers. And for drawing layers, we have developed function no snap. Usually the DWG files are not so exact, they have no inaccuracy. When you use them as a reference and try to draw object by snapping this line, you usually make a problem. For example, here in DWG file there are very small uh, inaccuracy, which cause a problem during the mesh generation. If I go to the layer, the drawing, select the layer, say I don't want to snap this layer, close it. So I have it as a reference in the background, but I'm not able to snap on it. The next is the statistics. Statistic dialog changed and contains more information. Semi-rigid end bar is introduced in version 15. It is located in end condition tab of the bar where you can insert the stiffness value for it and calculate it according to your code 318. Let's see example for the semi-rigid. Here I have three frame structure. Rigid, semi-rigid and the hinge. You will see this is fixed. Semi-rigid and the hinge. So check the result. Here you see the moment diagram. We can check the displacement for this lot. Here you see that the behavior is different. Eccentricity and alignment are separated in version 15. They are not both under the end condition tab. As you can see, this considered eccentricity and calculation removed from end condition. But here it's possible only to give the eccentricity. Alignment can be placed under the physical model. And you should know that the eccentricity inserted under the end condition it will be always considered in the calculation. 2D section has two new icons. This is version 14 and this is version 15. As you can see there is vertical plane and the horizontal plane. With two click it's possible to define a 2D view. This is similar also then for the 3D view. These are two similar icons. You can set the view for the 3D. In version 15 limits for the load, load cases, load combination, load group, eigenfrex and sample is removed. It was 200 in version 14. Soil and high static pressure is added to surface load. Object lockup system. The next is the auto wind load. In version 14 it was possible to turn on the wind load from this, this icon but in version 15 this is great and you can turn on and off the positive and negative direction either positive or negative but in version 15 you can turn on and off these positive and negative directions separately so if you check the wind load you will see that I can turn on separately and if I select all and I say ok and here you will see that the x positive and negative y positive and negative in auto wind load Auto deviation load also made much easier. You could insert in one direction and story by story. In version 15, they also can be turned on at the same time. And another hot button is added here that with one click you can generate for all the stories. Deviation load, turn it on and generate all. Norwegian seismic specs parameter is modified. The type is turned gray and all the parameters are set now according to the Norwegian annex. Calculation dialog for the load combinations will be changed. In version 15, these options are moved to the setup option. In version 14, setup load combination, there are four options here to turn off. Nonlinear, crack sectional is a second order and protection. In version 15, it's a little bit changed now. We have two nonlinear. First is a nonlinear element. It's the same as the version 14. We have also one nonlinear for the soil behavior for solid element and ground water level. Now, so these options are moved to the nonlinear calculation, and additionally, there is nonlinear soil options here. Information about the calculation time move to the end of the calculation dialog. Easily you can scroll up, check the calculation process. And additionally, if you get any error, it will come at the end of this dialog. Cotangent re implemented. It's possible to set the cotangent. In the earlier versions, it was hard coded to 1, but now in version 15, this cotangent, according to Eurocode, can be set. 
RC shell design in the listing is also changed. In version 14, if you check the RC design input data, nothing is under it. In version 15, you can list the applied reinforcement. Also, for the load combination, there are new results in the listing. Shell design forces, shell required reinforcement, missing reinforcement, sheet capacity, and crack fit added to load combinations. Maximum of load combination having a similar result. And also for the load group, you find similar result. Sheet capacity is now calculated according to 6.22 before it was calculated according to 6.44. Also, so if you check the displacement table, find the sheet capacity. Here you get information about the sheet capacity. Either it's okay or is not. If it's not okay, you have to take care of it. And if it is okay, then you will see it here and the information about it. Now comes major feature. There are two groups of major feature. First groups are released in version 15.0, but the two other geotechnical modules, second part and the C joint will come later. Second part of geotechnical modules most probably will be released in the spring and the steel joint probably during the summer. Let's see these features. Moving load is one of the major features in the load tab. Can define the path, change the properties of the moving load. It's possible to define the with high kill, with high kill position can be added, remove, move the position, or reset to the original. And finally, it's possible to animate, and it has a default parameter here where you can define the name, default division number, loading options, possible to have a return load, load direction can be locked, also cut loads, for example. And also define the high kill. These are according to the Euro code, but you can give the new loads according to your need. You can import and export. Let's see a small example. Here I have beam, go to the load, moving load, find a task here, give a name, set the parameters, select the vehicle. This is 3D. I will check only one vertical load. Vehicle position can be added here. I can remove vehicle position, this one, and I can move it also. Or it's possible to reset it. If moving load added, program automatically making a load group. So here you can see bridge. If I check the moving load, there are two moving loads. One is going, the other is returning back. And these are put it in a load group. So check some results. The result that you get out of the moving load is load case, moving load maximum, moving load influence time, and the max of load group. Let's see the load case displacement group. It's also possible to animate it. Or internal forces, maybe tease it. It's also it's possible to animate. Moving load maximum displacement. Okay. You will see the, all the maximums. Moving load influence line. I have to select the object and the position of moving load. The next is the core build. It is located here. And it has also a line palette and it has some properties and parameter for the geometry. It's possible to select section for it. It can be a different section at the start and the end. Also define the material. Let's see example for it. This is a load moving from here forward and it turn back. Let's see some result. Displacement graph for it. Next is the documentation. Doc X is added here and you can define the path and you can use your own template with there. If you go to documentation here you will see the document, CK result and so on. Save as .x. Coming with picture that all the texts are real text and the tables are modifiable, the table of the if you go through, you see all the documentation here, and here is much easier to handle the report. Also, the good thing is that details are not pictured, these are the, the equation. You can modify it as well. Now, some words about upcoming features after the first release. Geotechnical module part 2 will consider the nonlinear soil behavior in 3D. It will be much easier now to model the soil. If some object is inside, program automatically will, uh, will modify the soil and find the foundation level of the second is C joint, standalone and built in version. This is standalone version. Here you have a data sheets that you should go through. One by one is like a wizard. First you should select the joint type and the solution. 
and if there is an option then then you will select the option for that let's see for example this solution if i click next possible to give the profile give the material insert the cloud combinations and if i click next program we calculate is joint it's of course possible to set the parameters for the for the objects that we have If you are satisfied with the result, then you can say finish. Otherwise, you can also from here change the solution. This is standalone C joint. You can find it in the C design tab. You can select it from here. Here is possible to define the object. Maybe the knee here. Column within. First one. Okay. If I zoom, you will see that the, the solution is implemented. It can be changed to a different solution. And it's possible also to check it. Also possible to check it. This is our use. Solution should be changed to something else. Now seems to be okay. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this was useful for you to see the new features.